Hi, I'm Alex. And I'm Claire. We're going to tell you about the Miami. If you didn't know already, Miami means allies. Really? I didn't know that. The Miamis enjoyed eating corn, beans, and squash. They also liked eating buffalo, soup, cornbread, and stews. To get the ingredients for those foods, they used bows, tomahawks, and spears. Don't forget they needed to protect themselves, so they used shields. Miami tribes lived in villages of small oval houses called wigwams. Wigwams is a funny name for a house. The houses were also made of woven reeds, so I'm surprised they stayed dry. The Miami lived in Indiana, Michigan, Ohio, and Illinois. Wow, they lived very close to us. The Miami Indians had a unique way of getting around. They used canoes and dog pulling sleds. We were so busy talking about what the adults did, we forgot about the kids. The kids played with toys and helped around the house. Men in the Miami tribes wore breech cloths. I bet they got cold in the winter. They also wore leather moccasins. Leather moccasins are shoes if you didn't know that already. To control the village, the Miami had two chiefs. One was a village chief and the other was a warrior chief. Thank you for listening. Do you remember Miami means allies? This is Alex and Claire signing, signing off. off. Are you ready to learn about the Shawnee tribe? My name is Shanika. I'm Ruby. And I'm Ray. And we're here to tell you all about it, so stay tuned. The Shawnee lived in small round dwellings called Wigwams in Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana. Speaking of, the Shawnee hunted with bows and arrows, stone tomahawks, and spears. They they, they hunted deer, turkey, and fish. They eat corn, squash, deer, turkey, and small game, soup, and cornbread. Mmm, that sounds really good. Do you guys know how they got around? Yeah. Yeah, they, they used canoes and dogs to get from place to place. Wow. <laughs> Actually, they play with dolls, toys, and ball games. They also go to school. Do you guys know what the word Shawnee means? It comes from the word Shawnee, which means a southerner. That's cool. Do you want to hear a fun fact? Yeah. Today the Shawnee tribe drives cars. Ooh, I have a good one too. The Shawnee tribe did not live in teepees like other tribes. Wow. They were known for their beadwork, pottery, and, and carvings. Well, they still do it today too. Thanks for listening. I hope you know much more about the Shawnee food, homes, and much more. Adios, amigos. I'm Ryan. Hi, I'm Gentry. We're doing the Potawatomi show. Ryan. I'm, the Potawatomi tribe means something cool. It means fire keepers. The Potawatomi tribe like... The Potawatomi tribe uses bows and arrows, clubs and spears. And that's stow shoes. That's your turn. Wow, that's a lot. Still... <laughs> the Pawami travels by canoes and by dugouts. That sounds fun. Here's a fun fact. Mothers in the Pawami tribe carried their babies in in a cradle board. That's a cool fact. Did you know they ate coin beans, wild rice, berries, elk, fish, and wild birds? The Pawami children played with dolls and lacros. The Pawani tribe built wind 
wind logs, houses. Wigwams were dome-shaped lodges. So some. Did you know that most of the Potawatomi tribe lives in Michigan State? That's new. Fun fact time. Today they live in apartments and houses. Wow, they used to live in the wild and now they live in houses? I hope I hope it, you enjoyed the Potawatomi tribe show. My favorite fact was that now the Potawatomi tribes live in the ho- in houses. <clears throat> This is Ryan and Gentry signing off. Bye. Bye. We're working on the Trokey tribe. I'm Silas. And I'm Layla. Did you know the Trokey tribe's name means speakers of another language? Cool fact. I know where they did live, Georgia, North and South Carolina, Virginia, Kentucky, Tennessee, and Oklahoma. Well, I live in Indiana. And I live in a house. Cherokees lived in houses with thatched roofs, and they are strong and warm. I know some. Some houses have seven sides, and they were strong for protection. In their houses, they had weapons such as bows and arrows, blowguns and spears. Don't forget tomahawks and knives. Did I say about their good foods they are corn, beans, squash, sunflowers, berries, and fruit? Some meats they ate is deer, turkey, and fish, and I would love cornbread or stew. Enough about food. Their transportation is canoes, but now they use cars. Wow, I thought they would still use canoes. I know, ac- I know activities. The kids hunt and fish with their fathers, and they had dolls and toys. I know a game they played. They threw a doll into a moving hoop. Teachers and students, we have tried to have outdoor recess. However, the Cherokee were artists. They made pipe teachers. carvings, baskets, so gourd art, and pottery. I like pottery. I'm pretty sure this is different from some of the tribes. Some Cherokee didn't even speak their own language. I thought they would all speak Cherokee language. Thanks for listening, and if you remember, the Cherokee are artists. Adios! Hello, my name is Bobby. And my name is Dahlia. And we're doing the Lenape tribe. Hey Dahlia, look at this. The Lenape tribe were called the true people. And they were also called just the people. The Lenape tribe in, lived in many pace, places, including Oklahoma and the, North, and the West Oklahoma. They also lived in New Jersey and Pennsylvania. To hunt, they used bows and arrows. And they fight with their used wooden war cube. I have a feeling that this fact will make you hungry because the Lenape tribe ate corn squash and beans. And they also ate deer and turkey and fish. The um, they built round houses called wigwams and long houses. Wow, I wonder what it looks like inside. They moved back then in bark and dug out canoes. Also in the winter, they used sleds and snowshoes. Kids in the tribe were kind of like us. They had school chores, hunting with fathers, lacrosse, and dolls. That does sound like us, actually. They copied Iroquoian style longhouses. Well, wow, that's like some fun facts. They their traded currency was wampum beads. That's that's court. The carry was called that. Thanks for listening. And if you forgot how they moved in the winter.
they use sleds and snowshoes. Adios, Adios. amigos. Hi, I'm Sean. And I'm Ariana. We're going to talk about the Kickapoo tribe. It may sound funny, but it's not. Did you know the name Kickapoo and Shawnee translate, is translated into Wanderer? I kind of did. Thanks, Philip, for translating. You're welcome. You should know that Kickapoos live in teepees. No, they don't. They live in small dome-shaped houses called Ricky Ups. Oh yeah. Kikapoo hunters and warriors use bows and arrows, clubs, and don't forget about spears. They use these tools to fish and hunt. The Kikapoo tribe's stable food was corn. Mmm, wouldn't it be great to eat a lot of sweet, sweet corn? The kids there do stuff like us. They play with each other, go to school. And help run their house. Knowing us, they much rather play all day. When the Kikapoo tribe traveled, they usually walked. I guess they always got their daily exercise in. It's fun fact time. Kikapoo is a tone language like Chinese. Ho is a friendly greeting. And Kapichihi means thank, thank you. Another fact is that each Kikapoo reservation has their own government, government laws, police, and services, just like a small country. Wow, that is a lot of work. Thanks for watching, Crusaders. We hope you learned a lot, such as where they live and what they lived in. Au revoir! Au revoir.